TLO, what's pop? We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. This is where any highlights from the live will be if you happen to miss one. Uh, we do have Patreon. I just posted um, uh, our line of, line of duty W show. Uh, post five days a week what you can't watch on YouTube. We watch there. Don't forget we do got merch, man. Appreciate everybody copying some merch, man, who did. This is this is uh interesting. This is interesting. Don't forget we also got the Discord, man. If you're looking for any of those links that you can follow me on, um, down in the description there's something called a link tree. Just click it. All of my information pops up. This is the monkey dust. drug epidemic that has stoked on Trent in its grips. ITV News. What is this? Never heard of it. But first, but first to the worrying rise of a dangerous drug that's ruining lives and wrecking communities. It's called monkey dust and it's being linked to violence and unpredictable behaviour, piling pressure on emergency services. The government is currently reviewing its Class B classification, but in Stoke-on-Trent, the country's so-called monkey dust capital, the situation is already critical. Our social affairs correspondent, Stacey Foster, reports... Monkey dust. It looked like... That definitely looks like a class A of some sort. On the distressing effects of this desperate epidemic. Yeah, I hear that? That's thunder. They are some of the most vulnerable people living on the streets of Stoke-on-Trent. What brings them together is drugs and increasingly monkey dust. Cheaper than alcohol at as little as two pound a hit. Its effects differ from user to user and it's not entirely clear why it's become so popular here. Simon used to be a plumber. Now he spends his time on the streets smoking dust. He got a trade, like a good job, plumber. You always need plumbers and he just, okay. How are you? I asked him why he takes it. It's the high, it's like nothing you could ask. I was arrested at a very young age and I was incarcerated in Stoke Heath when it was a youth custody centre back in the 80s. Does this stuff help you to forget all that? It just makes me realise just how I can rectify the situation. But the wouldn't police, it be better to be still working as a plumber? And it will be when I get my job back. I, will work. I need housing, I need income. For the first it all, oh, it's yellow? First time, dust confiscated by police officers is being tested at Staffordshire University. So you can see the little bag, but there's quite a large amount of powder there. Um, and when you compare that to some of the others, um, you can see the sort of variation that we've got um, in colour in some of those. Obviously this one here, a bit more of a brown colour compared to the sort of more yellow. Oh no, whoa, whoa. That's supposed to be all the same type of drug? Ain't no way. Um, that one, so that'd be really interesting to see what is inside those samples. It looks like H. ITV News was given exclusive access to the lab where samples will be deconstructed <laughs> to establish why this city has an issue with monkey dust. Monkey dust is a synthetic cathinone uh, referred to as MDPHP. Primarily, we. Mm. It's an MD, huh? Okay. Synthetic MD. Yo. We are looking to identify what the main constituent is, and that will just really help to um, identify whether or not it is MDPHP that they're taking when they refer to the term monkey dust. Y'all got to remember that I'm a classically trained scientist. Uh, I went, I, I studied Harvard, IT. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Yale, Lancashire, all that. So when they when they put out these words, got it. 
by whether or not it is MGPHP that they're taking when they refer to the term monkey dust, or has that term now become more of a colloquial term for one, any one of these synthetic cathinones? <gasps> Videos like this of alleged monkey dust users becoming violent have circulated since 2014 and have prompted the government to review its status as a Class B drug. Sarah Page has co-authored a report looking at user experience. We had 13 people who had used monkey dust. Which will inform the Home Office's decision. And then we found from people with lived experience that they didn't resonate with that kind of media image that has been out there around monkey dust. Because of the government cutbacks on services, the police... What's up with the UK and synthetic stuff? Like, this is not anything new throughout the history of me doing reactions to the UK when it comes to DRUGSs. Uh, like, synthetic run, runs deep through the UK. You know what I'm saying? Like, why is that? It's be I do know why, because it's cheaper, it's easier to get, and you know, feed 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 what they need to feed. But that's what that's messed up. Synthetic is it's just worse for you. He's very much working as the arm of a maybe a social worker or drug. Anything synthetic should be class A, A plus. If it's synthetic, it's A plus above anything else. There's class A and then there's A plus for synthetic. Anything synthetic, just make a whole new category. Looks worker in some cases. The ultimate aim is to take monkey dust off the streets. There's no denying that it's taking up a lot of- Impossible. Y'all been working on a crack epidemic since the 70s, 80s. Still there. What you mean take it off the street? Never gonna happen. But, but, but like, you know, slow it down. Maybe because it's newer, maybe, right? Police resources, and there's a thought that making it a Class A drug could help. We'll get 300, 350 calls. I think anything synthetic should be Class A+. Plus. Calls um, per month in relation to monkey dust. One of our key um, ambitions is is to pursue those that are, that are selling monkey dust on the street, those that are profiteering from those vulnerable individuals. And if we increase the classification, then it gives the courts greater sentencing power for those individuals that are supplying monkey dust and the misery that it brings. It also gives higher sentencing powers to those individuals taking it, who those independent, who those individuals who are strung out on it, who you throw in jail because of an addiction instead of getting proper help to. It's a two-edged sword. Stop trying to make it sound like it's one-edged and, and doing one thing will solve all your problems. Because it won't. I be hating when they be doing that. It's cap. Oh. The streets of Staffordshire. And it's those stories told at the side of the road that show how desperate the situation is. Emily has been living here for five weeks. Now think about it. Catch Emily with some monkey dust and his class is a class A. She gets she gets a lot of, she's going to get sentenced crazy too. Along with those, um, you know what I'm saying, dealers and things of that nature. She's lost her mum, her job, and has just had a... Not that I disagree with what they're talking about, but it's just don't make it sound like it's one problem, one solution is good, and it's going to solve your problems. It's not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to incarcerate people who don't, des don't deserve to be incarcerated, who really need help. Like, like... A miscarriage. She uses monkey dust. She's lost her mum, her job, and has just had a miscarriage. She Obviously. uses monkey dust and heroin. I'm mentally it is it too, yeah. But physically now, not like I'm heroin. How easy is it to get hold of in Stoke on Trent? I could walk up or down the street right now and get you five different people that would give me some way. Are you getting help? Um, I ain't help with them housing. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be quite a bit learning so they have to Who is this other dude talking in the background? It's just a mess guys with twins. I, I don't want to get off the drugs right now. Stoke-on-Trent has been awarded £5.3 million pounds to help support drug users in the city. But at the moment, for many, it's easier to get a cheap hit than it is to get help. Stacey Foster, ITV News, Stoke-on-Trent. Somebody need to sweep over there. TLO, man, let me know what y'all thoughts if y'all run across this, what it's doing to y'all community, man. I'm gone.